Come on, drink it up, baby, now. Drink it up, baby. Snack and stout. Snack and stout. I haven't even started recording the video yet, but I'm streaming. <laughs> I haven't even started drinking either. Hello, world. I'm Chris Perillo, and you're watching another episode of CPU, which is short for Chris Perillo. You decide what the U is short for because you are the only you I care about. And if you were wondering if I've had a drop to drink yet, the answer is no. This week's stout is a survival stout, malt beverage with coffee added. Perfect for me, I think. I don't know. I haven't tried one yet. It's from Hopworks Urban Brewery. I guarantee there's a nerd out there going, what does this have to do with tech? Well, nothing, but you can see this is a hub that I'm about to install in my body. Okay, let's crack into this bad boy. Is it just me or am I hot in here? <sighs> Better. I gotta tell you, these are some of my favorite videos to do. Tommy, can you see me? The answer is no, because it's a stout. I'm not picking up on any coffee notes. It tastes like something. It tastes like something. I can tell you it's definitely stoutish. It tastes like burnt, but that's not a bad thing. I like a burnt flavor. Okay, maybe I need to cleanse my palate with some dill pickle flavored popcorn, or some sriracha flavored popcorn, or some bacon cheddar flavored popcorn, or some chili con queso flavored popcorn. And in case you want any of this, I'll be sure to put the link for you in this video's description. And if you can't find the exact brand that I'm trying, well, we'll find something close enough. It smells more like chocolate than it does coffee. Aw, oh, man, it's artificially flavored bacon cheddar. What's artificial? Why, why can't they just put real bacon in real popcorn and real cheddar? Mmm, uh. smells like fart. Yeah, no, this smells like fart. It's not bad. Y'all want to know what a fart tastes like? This is it. I'm telling you, try it because you just your life will never be the same after you try fart-flavored popcorn. I'm moving on to dill pickle, hun. Which is also artificially flavored, combined with natural flavors. But the question is, is which part is natural? Mmm. I love the initial rush of the dill pickled inspired flavor as it hits my tongue. Nice finish. But I still have fart in my mouth. Hang on. Hmm. Now my mouth tastes like burnt pickle fart. Let's chili con queso. This is naturally flavored. I've never seen a chili con queso in the wild though, so I don't know what it tastes like. Hang on. This is a winner. I love chili, I love cheese. This is chili cheese popcorn. A perfect compliment for a stout. Yep, washed the fart right out of my mouth. Now see, the irony here is that chili makes you fart, but it's the thing that doesn't taste like a fart. Now we're moving on to the chitracha. Chitracha. Sriracha. Sriracha. Come on, everybody knows it's called sriracha. Which, by the way, would have been my name if I was a knight. Sriracha. Sweet. The spiciness comes in after you've started chewing. It's sriracha and popcorn. But you know what? Out of all of these, I gotta stick with the chili con queso. And of course, the stout. Have any of you ever eaten poop? I'm about to, right now. With the super duper reindeer pooper. That's not really poop. It's lemon and apple flavored jelly beans. First you gotta rip off its head and then shove poop down its neck. I've always wanted to do this. You just squeeze the legs to make it poop. Into the stout. Somewhere in our community, there's a rabbit going, hey, why are you eating my poop? Because it tastes like an apple or a lemon. I'm not sure which yet. If I know geeks half as well as I think I know geeks, I'm sure you're snacking on something. If you know of a snack I've not yet tried, feel free to make the recommendation. But at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices.